Alright, hey guys, welcome to episode 5 of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. So, I'm a bit pissed off in this episode, and that is because I actually recorded this episode kind of already, and I was about 13 minutes into it. And the game decided it would be fun to crash. And I have been pissed ever since. I stopped my recording session at that point. Oh, just froze a little bit, and yeah, decided to try again today. Get a recording session done now. And move on. Now, we are off to Kakariko Village. A nice little town. Off this way, a ways. So, actually, what I'm going to do for now is I'm going to pause the video. After I kill these guys. And then I'm going to resume once we've made it to the village. So that you guys don't gotta witness me going all the way there. So here we are, right at the entrance of Kakarika Village. I would have started this recording sooner again, but I needed to wait for this sun to set. Because yes, we're heading for Death Mountain. We're gonna go get the next... whatever the fuck... spiritual stone. But before we do that, we wanna go get a couple of things. One of those things is we want to go get my Hillian shield, which is in the graveyard. And then we also want to get the Sun Song, which is also in the graveyard. The Sun Song will turn it to day for us. I do believe that is its function. Oh, we'll figure it the fuck out. Does just me or does that look like a Zora? I'm going to give him a quick chat. No, you're not a Zora. People are disgusting. My own father and mother are disgusting. You must be disgusting too. You know what? I take great offense to that. What makes you think I'm disgusting? Hmm. Also, anyone watching, I bet if they have played this game, they're probably shooting off at me right now for multiple reasons. One, for multiple times saying that I am not a fan of this game, or not a fan of Zelda in general. They probably think I'm uncultured. Um, I'm more of a Final Fantasy guy, though. Just me. Um, but also because I've probably missed so many gold skull tulls and everything else that they're probably thinking like, wow, I must be shit at this or something. Now, once again, I cannot remember. I think it's this one with the flowers in front of it. I think. This is the one with the Hillian shield. I should remember, I did just do this. Except then my recording fucked up. I should remember how to get to the Hillian Shield. But alas, you know, I don't. Get this kicked open. There we go. We got the Hillian Shield. I know how to use it, though. Now, I'm going to start saving frequently in case my game crashes again. So that I don't have to go through half of this bullshit again. I'm going to need to equip an item here. We gonna need my fairy's ocarina. Because we need to play a little tune in front of this big old stone right here. Uh-uh. Didn't know if I remembered the song. It's been a day since I recorded, so. But luckily, <clears throat> I remembered. Also, I think I'm coming under being a little sick. So if I sound a little off, or talk a little off in this episode, it's just because I'm feeling awful. Um, kind of. My ears are all fucked up and everything else, so I might even talk a little louder, since my ears are all fucky. But, nonetheless, I got some recording I gotta do, and shit to get done. How did that, like, not kill us? That's a good ass question. Let's go. Now, as people would know, I have tried to play two Zelda games on this channel. I've tried playing this one. And I've tried playing... A Link to the Past. Neither series panned out. I got one amulet in Link to the Past and then quit. And in this game, I don't quite remember. I think I got one of the stones or two of the stones and then quit the series on here. Now there's one more bad. 
I heard you. But I don't. Yeah. God damn it. I don't see him. I'm almost out of my little things. I see him. Fucking aiming with this thing is stupid. There we go. We're good to go. Can I put my little thing away? There we go. Going with our little fucking wooden ass shield. I could equip the Halion shield, but I don't exactly need it at the present moment. And now we get the screamers. As soon as they scream, I'm frozen. Now, yeah, you can kill them, I think, or whatever, but there's just no point right now. There's just none. Now, I will say right now, I don't know if I mentioned another video or not, I will mention the furthest I've ever gotten in a Zelda game. Um, which was, uh, the furthest I've ever gotten was I made it to Adult Link, made it to the Forest Temple where Saria sits, and then after that, I've quit. One second now, guys. Sorry about that pause. That's two episodes in a row where we had a phone call. Oh, well, I'll just... Lost my train of thought on what I was talking about before this, so... You know, we got Sacred Melody by the Composer Brothers. We got the Sun Song. But I don't have to remember. Duh, 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 or it's just gonna go into my quest log so I can refer to it as many times as I need to. Really? Really? As I said, with the joyous stick, which is not... Mm. It's not lovely. Here we go. You've learned the sun's song. Wham. As I said, that's what we needed from here, too, so now we can make our way up Death Mountain. Probably a few other things I am supposed to do in Kakariko Village. I'll probably figure them out later on. You know what? Let's do this now. No. Hold on, I forget the sun song already. That's how long it takes. Okay. No, go. Da 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 da. I got it. Okay. Just with the joystick, I'm saying. It's not the funnest. Yeah, they're frozen. They won't piss me off now. I could kill them, but there's no point. There just really is no freaking point. Woo! And off we go. As soon as we get out of here, we're gonna give this a save. And then mosey on up to the guard. And show him our letter. Boom. It's also daytime now. So the reason we had to come to this hellhole at night also, just in case somebody here doesn't know, that is watching. See this little prick down here? Yeah, if you try to move shit with him here, God, he snaps at you. Because he's like, you know, the night guard. He'll get annoyed with you, or he doesn't like when shit's moved. Don't make more work for him. Yet, you can tell the night guard don't give a fuck. See, so he doesn't do anything about it. Oh, don't you look in distress. What do you want? What should I do? Okay, should have read that. What should I do? My cacos have flown away. You, little boy, please, please help me bring them back to this pen. Oh my god, you want me to gather up fucking... So say for a second there, I was like, did I fuck this up? Did I get the chicken stuck? Well, look, I got you one chicken. I am not going through all that to get all the chickens right now. Not doing it. Not having it. She can do it herself. 
I'm gonna be the hero of time. I'm gonna save the world. I do not have time for your chickens. Good lord. And if I beat the shit out of them, well, I'm gonna just get destroyed. Hello, guard guy. Look at my letter. Okay. Oh, this is, this is surely Princess Zelda's handwriting. Well, let's see, hmm? Okay. This is Chase. He is under my orders to save Hyrule. One second. Sorry about that. Anyway, I, just, I have to keep pausing here and there. And he's laughing his ass. I mean, what kind of funny game has our princess come up with now? Okay, okay, all right. You can go now. Just be careful, Mr. Hero. You know what? I am going to be the hero, so maybe I should just say, Fuck it, I'm not going to save you. I'm just going to let him... If there's a way, I can just let the one guy die. I'm going to do it. By the way, my hero, if you're going to climb Death Mountain, you should equip a proper shield. It is an active volcano, after all. If you go back to Hyrule Castle, Town Market, you should check out the bazaar. They they sell the shield you need there. Tell them I sent you, and they should give you a special discount. If you think you're good to go already, don't worry about it. Now, I'd like to ask a favor of you. No, I don't expect you to do it just because of the great tip I just gave you. I'm just asking. Have you been to the Happy Mask shop that just opened in the Hyrule Castle Town Market? Everyone is talking about it. My little boy pesters me for a popular mask, but I don't have time to go there. So, could you go and get the mask for me next time you are in the market? If you don't feel like it, that's okay, but... Well, I have no choice. This is my job. So this is where I crashed last time. Well, it is now time to make our way up Death Mountain. Finally. Um... I had a bit of an error just right before we entered here, but that was the spot where I had once crashed. Not sure why it crashed there, but we made it through. We're continuing on our way. Now they said I needed a proper... A proper shield. But I'm still using... A, I don't know what these enemies are called, so if anybody wants to tell me, let me know. Because, yeah, I just... I don't have a sweet clue. I'm just gonna swipe like hell. Kinda like what I do in the Dark Souls. Just swing and hope. But I think now... It's a good time to equip my uh, nice Helian shield here. Let's also give it a quick save. Just in case shit does happen. Oh, we got some nuts. Oh, well, oh, oh, here's the annoying little bastards. Holy fuck, hurts for days. Fuck. Didn't know I was going to be getting that many. Talk to me. Talk to me. I am one of the Golrons, the stone-eating people who live on Death Mountain. Look at that huge boulder over there. It blocks the entrance to the Dodongo's Cavern, which was once a very important place for us Golrons. But one day, many Dodongos suddenly appeared inside the cavern. It became a very dangerous place. My word. On top of that, a Gerudo in black armor used his magic to seal the entrance with that boulder. If... okay. Well, I just skipped all of your text, but I think I know what I gotta do here. Uh, I just know I gotta get up... Up to the Goron City, I gotta figure out... I'd open that rock for them. It's not like the most important dialogue in the game. I know if something's overly important, I am not gonna skip it. Nah, I'm not gonna skip him. They say that a beautiful fairy... Okay, I can't even press it once. They say that a beautiful fairy lives on top of Death Mountain. Don't you want to see ha? I mean... I've already got a fairy, so I don't know how much I want to see one. Don't hit me. You're... That. He's a cunt. That's what we gotta do right there. Boom. Just, uh, boom. 
but I don't think I'm going to the top right now. Why could they just bowl over a kid? Boom! Boom! This is how we get into the city. Goron City. What a lovely place. I do believe we just gotta go talk to the head man. I think we need to bother with all these little guys. Yep. Woo! And roll. There are bombs though, so we might be doing some of that shit. And whoop, and boom. So we gotta open this. Do you believe we need to use Zelda's lullaby to get in? Yep. This is where the... I don't know what his name is. There, but it's this guy. Dugan or Dagan or something. What the heck? Who are you? When I heard the song of the royal family, I expected their messenger had arrived. But... You're just a little kid! Oh, Darunia, or however you say that. Has Darunia, the big boss of the Gorons, really lost so much status to be treated like this by his sworn brother, the king? Now I'm really angry. Get out of my face now! Are you asking why I'm in such a bad mood right now? Ancient creatures have infested the Dorongo's cavern. Something, starvation, hunger, shortage, but this is a Goron problem. We don't need help from any strangers. Okay, well, I'm just gonna stand here then. I'm gonna look at how to do that song. The forest one. Sorry, a song. Da 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 da. Pretty sure this is what he wants, cause he's gonna do a fucking jig. You want to talk to Sarah, you're right? No, really? Then you want to talk to me? No. Fuck, was I supposed to do it, like, right on him? I know I have to do it. I think, or maybe it's gonna play the royal song? Nope, I have to be closer to him, I guess. Cause he looks fucking just... Look at him go! Look at this little fucker. Fuck, he's happy. And likes to dance. He's sort of startling. Stop any time now. Oh! Oh, oh! Okay. Now you're being a little weird. Come on! Come on, come on, come on! You're being a little weird. Hot! What a hot beat! Sure! Okay, listen. I think he's getting sucked up or something. Yahoo! Hey, what a nice tune! Just like that, my depression is all gone. Something just came over me. I suddenly wanted to dance like crazy. I am Darunia. I'm the big boss of the Gorons. Was there something you wanted to ask me about? What? You want the spiritual stone of fire too? The spiritual stone of fire, also known as the Goron's ruby, is our race's hidden treasure. But hold on. I'm not going to give it to you. That easily, if you want it so badly, why don't you go destroy the monsters inside of the Dodongo's cavern and prove you're a real man? That way, everybody will be happy again. If you do it, I will give you anything you want, even the spiritual stuff. I have something for you. I'm not really giving you this in return for anything, but take it anyway. If you wear this, even a little fellow like you can pick a bomb flower using it. You've got the Goron's brace that now you can pull up a bomb flowers. Stand next to one and use A to pull it up. Like I don't have to equip... Oh, because it's just on my arm already. Look at that. Yeah, we're looking good. We're looking stylish. And we are ready. Well, we're standing on soft carpet for guests. We are ready to go. Well, I can't pick up that flowers, but... I can pick up shit now. So I'd say we are pretty good to go. 
And da 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 Woo! So now I do believe we can actually go do the mission that we need to do. But before we go and do that, I'm going to save it. And I'm ending this episode here for today. So, as usual, please comment, subscribe, tell me what you thought of the episode. See you on the next one. Take care till then, guys, and bye bye